Olá! Olá! Gateiros e gateiras, hoje é um dia muito especial. Se preparem, pois agora vocês vão ter uma pessoa muito especial nesse canal. Muito especial, que assim, eu era um sonho, porém <risos> eu não achei que ia se realizar assim, tipo, tão rápido. Nossa. E no Brasil. Né? Então confere aí. <risos> Somebody gave this to me at a, at a show. I, I was saying hello to them. Just... <laughs> well, I'm Isa Gateira. Can you say Gateira? Gateira means cat person in Portuguese. Gateira. Yes. Gateira. Gateira. <laughs> This is Rafael. It's my boyfriend. And we have 24 cats. At home? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. We, we worked with adoption yeah. and rescue. And the, some of these cats didn't get adoption. So we decided to keep them. And our house is completely catified. <laughs> Wonderful. I would imagine it would have to be. Yeah. 24 cats. Yeah. Or yeah. else you would just be covered in pee and blood and everything. Yeah, so, yeah. Nice going. So we have a, a few questions uh, about your work. Okay. Um, so when do you realize that you wanted to work with cats? When I started working at a shelter. So that was in 1993. And I took a job really just to scoop poop and, and clean cages. And, uh, and I was a musician at the time and, and I just needed a job. And I was working there for about two weeks and people started making fun of me. They called me Catboy. They said, oh, it's Catboy is coming because the cats would follow me around. And look, at that point, we were killing a lot of cats in the shelter, uh, a lot. And millions every year. And I thought, if there's something I can do where we're not gonna kill these cats, then let's do it. And so it was just, it was natural. But it was, as the years went on, that it became, Passion, you know, and, uh, and now, of course, I like. <laughs> this question is for a follower. So, did a cat bite you and give you these superpowers? Yes, as a matter of fact, <laughs> yes. I can now climb walls, um, I can scratch on things, and I can kill, you know, just like that. So, Do you fall on feet? So, you better watch out. Because <laughs> I hunt really well. Here in Brazil, uh, you're playing your show on TV. I heard. Now, listen, when I first started my show, they had me do a promo for Brazil. It was the first time I ever tried to speak Portuguese. And, but it was called My Cat from Hell. When did it start being called Cat Charm? Cat Charm. That's a weird name. Although, My Cat from Hell is really weird too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but I don't like that. See, here's the thing. Cat Whisper, Cat Charmer, cat. it always makes me look like, I don't know, like I'm special, that I can do things that you can't do, and that's not the case. I think that anybody can do what I do. So, I don't I don't like being seen as like a magician, you know, but whatever. <laughs> uh, also from a follower, what was the biggest secret that, your cat, that a cat shared with you with just the eyes? That's a great question. Yeah. That's a wonderful question. I think I have been told many times that I don't like where I live. And it makes me very sad because I'm not going to tell one time, one time out of my entire career that I tell the humans, I don't think this cat should live with me. He's not mine. And usually I try to make it work, you know? But the one time he just looked at me and he just. It's interesting because I mean, I do feel like I—I I don't know what the Brazil, what the Portuguese word would be, but it's uh, empath, you know. That, empath, that, yeah. yeah, that it's just I, I but I, it's a feel, so it's not words, you know. Um, but every now and again, the cat tells you. Yeah. So today, the number of uh, cat keepers is increasing in Brazil and US. 
Uh, how do you see this scenario and what is the role of creators and influencers in this new world with more indoor clothes? Yeah, it's so important. And the important thing, at least in the United States, like I come here and I met, I don't know how many people I met yesterday, but they're all young and vibrant and hip or whatever. And that's important. It's important for people who are influencers to influence, to show people that cats are cool, especially guys. It's really important that guys step up. Yeah. It's like, what is, the, what is this shit with like, oh, if I'm with a cat, it makes me, it, it affects my masculinity yeah. or whatever. Get over it. I mean, I think it's, it's always the crazy pet lady. Exactly. And I think it's so important for all of us to say, you know what? I'm a crazy cat lady. Yeah. You're, a cra you're a crazy cat lady. And blow it out of the water. Uh, that's what we do right now. Because that's how we get them all adopted. You know? They were just telling me that in the main shelter right now, the cat shelter, she has 2,000 cats. 2,000. The only way we get them adopted is for the influencers to step up. It's the only way. And our channel on YouTube. I've seen it. Yeah, we, we talk about uh, cat behavior because it's my passion. I'm studying to be a veterinarian, but I want to work with behavior. And we talk about health and tips for cat babies, like cat persons, and a lot of cute cats, obviously. And, and a lot of people come, came to, to talk to me, and I watching your video and I adopted cat. Yeah. So it's wonderful. Wonderful. See, that's, that's wonderful. It's yeah. great to hear. It's great to hear. And the last question is, what are the next steps in your career? <laughs> uh, next steps. Well, I mean, now that the show is over, um, you know, we, we, uh, we, we're finally done 10 seasons. Um, I'm developing a few new shows. concentrating more on my YouTube channel. Uh, I, I really want to take the message out to a much wider audience, so the digital audience is where that belongs. I mean, uh, and also, I mean, my, my uh, non-profit work. I mean, now that I've got the time to work on the Jackson Galaxy Project, uh, we have programs like Cat Positive, and Home We Found, and the Cat Education Project. And it's all about getting into shelters, getting get into foster parents, and teaching them about cats. Because they don't know, you know? I mean, shelters know how to deal with dogs. They, and, and still, after all these years. So, um, I'm going to be visiting a lot of shelters. And that's about it. Uh, we have a lot of misinformation on the internet these days. People who become influencers just by having cats and no background. Face this reality, even though we know that's good to have more cats on the internet. You know, I think one of the hard things is that in the digital space, you, you aren't held responsible for what you say. You can say anything you want to. You can call yourself a cat behaviorist. Anybody can. Um, I think it's important for us, the rest of us, to hold influences to a higher standard. If, look, you have the power. You follow somebody or you don't follow somebody. If they are speaking uh, their truth about cats and dogs and all animals and you find it distasteful, stop following them. It's the only power that you have. More power than you have over me on TV. Because unless you're marching in the street, it's hard to take a TV show off the air. But for an influencer, it's the comments, right? It, yeah. That's how you stop somebody. Um, I just think that whether you're an influencer or not, you have a responsibility to the animals, first and foremost. Your, your responsibility is to them and to nobody else. And if somebody's putting their fame over the animals, shut them down. That's all I have to say. I, I, I am not a fan. People carrying their cats around and trying to get pictures and, and trying to get their fans up. 
the cat never asked for this. You know, we we have an obligation to speak for them. And it, it's like it, you know, it's like a stage mom. You know, the the idea that like you take your your little daughter to auditions and make them dance and whatever. Mom, I don't want to dance. Well, tough. You're gonna dance because I couldn't dance. You know, uh, but that's not. Animals can't speak and they can't say, Mom, I don't want to do this. You have to be a better parent. Great. Okay. <laughs> so thank you for your time. My pleasure. And My thank pleasure. you for the work that inspires me every day to do my job here in Brazil. My pleasure. I, I, I love hearing that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gente, <risos> foi incrível, é, ele foi super simpático, eu tava surtando, eu tava muito nervosa, mas ele me deixou à vontade, uhum. começou a falar da minha tatuagem, perguntar o significado, e eu não tinha treinado isso pra falar inglês. <risos> então se você curte o um conteúdo embasado, o um conteúdo de quem é gateiro, se você curte o Jackson Gallows, se inscreve nesse canal. Porque a gente tem muito conteúdo. Porque a gente ganhou moral agora. Ah. Então é isso, gente. Deixa o like nesse vídeo porque a gente mereceu. O Jackson merece. Ele é maravilhoso. Ele é muito simpático. Se você acompanha a gente no Instagram, você viu que essa entrevista tinha rolado. Então o que pode fazer é seguir a gente no Instagram pra Sim. não perder nada do que acontece. Se inscreve no canal se você é novo por aqui. Chegou aqui por causa do Jackson Galaxy. Isso. Se inscreve aqui porque você encontra muita dica. Assim como você encontra nos programas do Jackson Galaxy. Um beijo. beijo. Tchau. Gateiros. 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 Yes. No, I'm doing it wrong. Gateiros. No, say it again. Gateiros. 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 Oi, gateiros. Yeah. <laughs>